How's it going? Welcome back to Krendor Builds the Indominus Box Necrons. Uh, I have already built pretty much everything except for the Necron Warriors, which I think is all we got left. Uh, Necron Warriors, Necron Warriors. Uh, oh, and Canoptech Scarab Swarms. But those are just like two pieces each, so that's really easy. Sweet! Um, so let's begin. It looks like I can build them with Gauss Flares or Gauss Reapers. Uh, <laughs> I take it, if it's anything like Sigmar stuff, I take it one's gonna be like longer range but doesn't hit as well, and one will be like shorter range but hits harder or more accurate, more accurate or something like that. I think I'm just gonna do, how many do you get? Three, four, six, seven, seven, six. So you get 20. I'll just do half and half, honestly. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with half and half. Especially, I'm not like making like tournament lists or something here. Uh, all right, sweet. So let's begin with uh, B1. Okay, B1. That's 36. That's 46, 31. That's 6, 26. <laughs> Looking for one. Uh, maybe on this sheet. I mean, these are all just... There's 11. One! Alright, I've located it. Here we go. Neat. And one. Uh, How's it going? Uh, oh yeah, I've had people asking. I think pe because the uh, Indominus box... I heard of the... Uh, the issues with the Indominus box and people trying to order it and then it being sold out extremely fast or like unavailable to pre-order and then there's like scalpers selling it. Uh, I didn't realize it was that crazy. So I had some people be like, Krendor, how'd you get this box? Right? Or people being like, these YouTubers getting this box. How'd this guy get this box? I literally, <laughs> I've been part of the thing uh, with Games Workshop where they just send you stuff. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I signed the NDA. So, you know, you get stuff and you can't talk about it until a specific time they tell you to. And then I got an email that was like, hey, you're getting a box. And I was like, cool. And then I was like, oh, this is a 40K box. All right. <laughs> and that was it. So like, you know, listen, I have as little knowledge as you do. <laughs> I literally looked at my email, saw I was getting a box and was like, cool. Uh, fine with me. Listen, they could give me, <laughs> they could literally give me, like, one free paint a year, and I'd be like, awesome. It, it could be, it could be worse than that. They could be like, hey, we found this Lupercal Green in a janitor's closet, and it's slightly damaged. We're gonna send it to you because nobody wants it here. And I'd be like, awesome, <laughs> free paint. I'm not picky, so the fact that they like sent me this box, like I'm like awesome. I'm grateful for it. I just didn't realize how big of a, you know, controversy it was gonna be currently. So uh, hopefully you can, or I can provide you with some sort of like, uh, I don't know, Indominus box enjoyment until you get your own. <laughs> Because it's crazy, man. Like, I don't know how there's, there's like, so many being ordered and, like, not everybody getting them or something. Like, I don't know. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. But hopefully it gets sorted out. Uh, wait, did I? Oh, yeah, that's one. And this guy's got the two. And this guy is the three. Okay. So I got all three of those. So now... Um, B2, B7, B12, okay, 2, 7, 12. So, looking through here. There's 12, so I'll cut that out. For what it's worth, though, I really enjoy the Necrons. I think they're neat. This is coming from somebody who was like, ah, I'm not a big 40k person. I don't know what army I'd want to play, but I love these new models. 
Like, I actually really like the Necron models. A lot. Uh, let's see, and then... Seven and two. Seven and two. Seven and two. Here's two. Woo! Uh, there we go. And here. Because that was the other crazy part. People were like, oh, these... Um, it was like these big Warhammer 40k YouTube channels that weren't even getting it. And I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I did, I wasn't like, hey, Games Workshop, get me one of those boxes. Hey, 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 let's, uh, let's get, I want to get one of those and make sure those big channels don't. Like, I literally looked at my email and I'm like, oh, cool, I'm getting the thing. <laughs> I sent them nothing. Uh, in fact, anything I request is typically like Sigmar stuff. Oh, wait, seven is what I'm looking for. Okay. Oh, wait, that's pretty much what I said. <laughs> oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, uh, so I mainly say all that just because I know people are upset and they're just like, yeah, this guy get it. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm grateful for any free stuff I get. <laughs> so, okay, seven. So now, we can also get the heads, looks like B4, B4A, and then B5, oh, 5, 10, 15, so the chess pieces are also things. Here's 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5. Right. And then 10. Here's 15. Let's, uh, might as well cut that out while I found it. Doo -doo -doo. And, ooh, if you've missed any of my other building videos, um, literally the last like four videos on my channel are just me building Necron stuff, so you can check that out if you want. To see all the other things built. I've actually gotten my lighting a lot better. I've been trying to work on the camera things, and now I think I got the lighting to be uh, pretty solid. It took me long enough, but <laughs> we've finally gotten to a place where the lighting isn't awful. Okay. Now I just need to get that, like, top-down viewpoint so you can actually see me clipping stuff from like my point of view so that seems to be what all the uh, cool warhammer people do neat okay and a little bloop. just like that okay so it looks like the heads it's like two variations of heads, so you can kind of pick and choose which heads you want. There's four and four A. So let's see, four, there's 40, there's 14 A, there's 34, 50, 19 A, well, there's four. All right, I found a four, I'll cut that out. That up there. And we've got 30A, 34A. I figured 4A would be near 4, <clears throat> but I guess uh, not. Oh, yeah, here's 4A up here. So I'll cut that out and then see which one I like more. So we got, let's see, this head versus this head. These are. <laughs> Very small. One has like a little indent on the left and one's the right. Here, I want to show these off. But I don't even think I can... <laughs> God, it's... <Oop. laughs> I'm going to drop one. Okay, so here's... One. Alright. There you go, you kind of see it. And here's... Two. Um, I kind of like, mm, I kind of like two a little more, so I think I'm going to do that one. 
All right, so looks like this goes here, and then this arm goes in here. Okay, and then the gun. Uh, okay, I gotta choose which guns I'm gonna use for these guys. We'll do the the f flares for these guys. All right, so that's B3A. B3A, B3A, here's B, here's 3, and here's A, okay, <laughs> I did it, good, and good, so here's the gun, hopefully this is easier than some of the other things I've done, seems like it'll be pretty easy. Mm. All right. So then this just go kind of in here. I guess you just uh, stick the arm into the gun. Whoop! So let me make sure this is in fully before I start doing this. Okay. It's got that, and then. Little thing to put the arm into the gun. There we go, and then make sure that's lined up. Push it in a little more. Neat. Okay, that's pretty simple. See right here. Uh, let's see. I said the lighting was up. Oh, there we go. Just gotta auto correct a little bit. I could still probably make the lighting better. Like, can I like move my light like this? Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, can't even tell. Looks great. Whoop, cool. Uh, and then, looks like we put on the armor and then the head. So, armor next. Closes in, and then the head. Uh, and then, <laughs> all right. The hardest part is just—it's kind of like the same thing with last time. It's just pushing these parts in without breaking other parts of him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there we go. All right, I got it. Okay, neat. So here he is. Necron Warrior 1 complete. That's fairly easy. Especially for not having to use any glue. I'm sure you can use glue if you want, but still, not bad. And then uh, the base, what is it? 32 millimeter. And just, there we are. And just plop that. Plop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's kind of at an angle since <laughs> I like how this is the hardest part of all of it. <laughs> uh, I want them like this. Maybe a little more. A little twisted back. Yeah, more like here. Okay, I got it. Neat. Alright, there he is. Cool. One. <laughs> uh, now. Okay, now that I know what I'm doing. This should make it a lot easier. So now we got 9, 9A, and 10. Well, I already got the 10. Here's 9A. Uh, so this head. And it's on the floor. <laughs> I was trying to make sure that didn't happen. And then it happened. Uh, oh, wait, I got it. Woo! Not today, floor. <laughs> you won last time, but not this time. Oh yeah, I actually found that the part that fell on the floor from the other video. So now I can just prime it and put it on the other guy. Uh, cool. Okay, and then here's nine. So let's see, whatever there. This. 
so this guy's got like a little chin thing. Let's see if that focuses. What? 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 <laughs> what if I do the, uh, I should probably do it. There he goes. Got a little chin thing. Um, but I kind of like this other guy's head. Because he has, he has like a hole in his eye. I think that looks cool. Yeah, I see that. So I'm going to use that head. And then, just, uh, I think this is correct. Yep, yep, yep. And this goes in here. Alright. Let's make sure I got it the right angle. Let's see, let me get the gun first. 8A uh, is what we're looking for. Here's 8A. Got that out. Oop. Oop. Alright. <laughs> He's fine. He's okay. The chameleon skink, however, has seen better days. Um, thank god that fell on the box. Okay, he's going... They're all going back a little bit. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, okay, this is looking alright. So then this will go in like this. Yep, so that should be good. And then this arm definitely is correct. And going in like this. In fact, I could just put them together right now. Before. Wait a second. Okay, so it should. It's kind of like this way. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 all right, I got it, I got it. Wait. <laughs> no, I definitely had it. It's one of those things like, okay, so the flat part is up there, right? Yeah. So it should be. Like this. All right. <laughs> Let me just <laughs> make sure again. Yes, so this is... Oh. I did it. <laughs> Maybe I was doing it wrong. Alright, it would not surprise me if I was doing it wrong. Uh, and then this will go in here. This goes more over here. And, uh... this it's not sticking very well definitely not as easy as the last guy uh, what if we just kind of <laughs> do that and then quickly armor him up yeah yeah actually yeah I think that works. Uh, kinda? <laughs> Actually, yeah, that worked. Okay, neat. And then his head. Go on. Uh, oh boy, nope. <laughs> that part ruined it. Uh, whew. So we're gonna put the head on. Actually, it's easier to put the heads on before. Oh, it tells you to do that. 
Reading. <laughs> it's not even reading. It's just looking at a picture. Okay, there we go. So now... This is here. This is here. And then gets pushed in. Fantastic. Well... Not fantastic. I might just have to, like, go ahead and give this guy the glue treatment. Uh, is it in? Well, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, I think. Uh, this part's popping a little bit. Not in a good way. <laughs> oh, wait. I think I got it. No. All right. Well, he's good enough for now. <laughs> Here we go. Cool. And I just, uh, I'll fix him up later. All right. And then this guy needs this 15, 14A. 14, 14A, and 13A. 14, 14A, 13A, 14, 14A, 13A, Here's 13A, okay, it's down here. It's down here. And then loop, and loop. Uh, I may have noted in, I might have noted this in the last video too, but if you haven't seen that one, I talked a lot about how some of the parts are kind of annoying for pushing them in just cause, like, my fingers are already very bony, <laughs> and like, I can get in and try to, you know, push stuff, but most people are probably gonna have bigger fingers than I am. And so it's probably gonna happen where you accidentally push something and then something breaks. I can see that happening pretty easily with a lot of these Necron things. Maybe not the Space Marines, I think they're chunkier, but these guys are kind of fragile. Uh, how can I not find four? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Woo! Cool. So there's the 14. And 14A. Oh. Okay. Uh. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna pick this guy. Just cause. He's got like a weird side robot thing, but I gotta clip a little bit down here. All right, let's put this in. Come on. Oh. There it is. Okay. I get. Mm. Oh, there we go. I got tilted a tiny bit. That's better. Then, take this and make sure I'm getting this right. I think I'm going to do this into this first and make sure this is correct. <laughs> Unlike the previous time. Yep, this is the right way. This is definitely the right way. Push that in. There we go. Easily in. 
And this goes into here. This is good. Definitely fits better in the previous. And a little bit like this. A little bit like this. Mm. All right. That down. All right, do a little wiggly. All right, I think I got it. I think we're good. Yeah, okay, this one's sturdy. <laughs> sturdy robot here. All right, let's base him. There we go. Yeah, this one was easy. Here's this guy. Heading on down with his big ass thing. Although his gun is kind of like dragging on the floor a little bit. But I kind of like that. It's like the the like giant sword dragging it on the ground or something. It's kind of what he's got. Uh, okay. And okay, he is supposed to be doing that. Just making sure that I didn't do something wrong, but he is in fact supposed to be like that. All right, so now we got 16, 21, 26, 31. 16. 21 also up here. Let's cut these. This one's 21. There's the 16. Okay. And 26. So then, we need 20, 25, 29, 35 chess pieces. Here's 35. A little clip. A clip. And a little clap. 35 goes to the last guy. And then, let's see. Here's 25. Go to the second guy. Whoop. Scrape off some of these. Someone was asking about mold lines. Mold lines aren't that bad. I've had a lot worse mold lines. Uh, so yeah, these are... Uh, not bad at all. 25. So 20, 29 is all I got left for these. Here's 29. say that is then there's this little mole line thing you just clip off they're not too bad when you can just clip them off and you don't have to use the mold line scrapey I get it down oh here's 20 neat okay do 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 and there then, let's check the guns, or the arms, 17, 22, 27, 
32. Here's 32. Seven twenty-two seventeen. Here's twenty-two. Whoop! Oh, I guess I could just break that in half. <laughs> it does make it a little easier for cutting. There's that. Here's twenty-seven. Oh, I guess that was twenty-two. Twenty-seven. on the other sheet. That's 42. 47, 37. Maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, it was not. It was right here the whole time. Alright. Guns. 18, 23, 28, 33. Here's 18. There's <laughs> guy down. Okay. I don't even know how I managed to hit that one. Well, at least it's the big piece. Oh, I got him. We're good. Woo! Drawer, please. There's 18. <laughs> Wait, was a uh, on, it was this one. Yeah, right here. And that's for the first guy. And we got 28. That was 28B. 23B. 23A. There, right there, and right there. Cool. Okay, twenty-three is for this guy. Twenty-eight, thirty-three. I don't think those are on here. They are not. Here's thirty-three. Here's twenty-eight. All right, twenty-eight first. I just do both the tops. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> they keep knocking that thing off. Alright. Wait, that's 38A. Oh my God. Okay, this is 33A. Yes. Okay. I'm still, we're on track. We're on track. It's a little confusing, Saul. So. Alright, that's 33 for him. This is 28. And just the arm bit. And then we are good. Alright, and then last but not least, the heads. So we got 19, 24, 30, 34. Here's 19A. Ooh, 34 is all like Cybertronic with his like head half open. Look at this one. Definitely using this one. I don't even care what the other one looks like unless it's another Cybertronic thing. It's like, it's like brains half open. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so that was 
34A, 30A. I think that's for him. All right. There's 30, that's 19. Uh, 19's got like some little sparks coming out of his jaw or wires. That looks good. Put that up there. Uh, oh yeah, that's 34. And then looks like 30A is also kind of wonky. And 24. They just show you the pictures in the thing. I could have literally looked in the book and been like, oh yeah. <laughs> um, it's 34A. It's 30. 30A? 30A? Uh, yeah, I like 30A. Goes there, and then 24 is right on the other one. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you have 24, 24A. They're pretty similar. I'll just take uh, this one. And oop. All right. Neat. So now. We'll begin the building process. Okay, so this goes in here. This goes like this. A little sideways. That went in extremely easy. That's good. It's better than that. And then that goes like that. Yo, this guy's gonna be the easiest one. I say is he'll probably have a difficult time being fully put together. <laughs> And then this. It's like this. Good. And then chest piece. On. Wow, yeah. Easiest one yet. He's built great. Feeling good. Got a base. Slide them in. Yeehaw. There he is. Best one yet. Next. Put this here. Looks like this will go in like this. Maybe I'm just getting better at this. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... Yep, this goes in, and there's this, this goes here, headpiece goes on. Cool. And then, this goes on here, and closes. And then motorcycle outside, room rooms. Alright. Cool. Well, a little bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'm just getting faster at this. Or these are actually just easier to put in. Maybe. Uh, oh, wait. Here we go. Alright. Here's this one. And we got this guy. This one also easy to get in. Let me put that in here. This goes up here. about this part going in. Alright, let's put the head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. And then, let's give it the old... Yeah, it look good. looks good too. Nice. Keep it rolling. Put 
this way. There we go. Actually, a little bit this way instead. Yeah. Is he good? Oh yeah, he's good. Okay. Here's this guy. He's got crazy like holes in his head. That's what happens when you do too many robot drugs, kids. You're gonna get holes like that in your brain. Probably, I don't know. Unless they're cool drugs. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's go ahead. This one looks like it goes this way. Yep, yeah, right here. That'd be my dare program. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. Except the cool ones. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Like plastic crack. <laughs> the best one yet. Uh, there we go. Push this in. To be fair. It wasn't even plastic crack back then. I remember asking for my birthday... I wanted my, like, slan mage priest. And it was all, like, metal. <laughs> uh, oh, this one's not... Oh, there we go, I got it. So it was, like, metal crack back then. Uh, actually, it was metal, right? Like, what did they make that out of? Those old metal things. I know some things are still metal. Like, I think a couple, uh... A couple models are still metal, like a Skaven one or something. Let's see. Let's see, yep. <laughs> See the old twist. Oh, jeez. There it is. There's this guy. There he is with his crazy half open head. Love that one. All right. So that's seven. Uh, whoop. I think I'm going to do these final three, and then I'm just going to do the rest of them off video, because I don't want to spend another 45 minutes doing the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, so I think you get the picture in, like, building the first ten. You probably get them now, but I might as well finish these first ten dudes. Uh, so we got... And then build the other guys. 36, 41, 46. Which are the only ones left. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I got like a whole other sheet of like the same. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Six. So it's 41. So it's going to be the middle one. That's going to be the first one. have weird nostalgia for like random TV shows <laughs> uh, you also ever just clip a robot's foot poorly now nah, it looks like it's kind of broken although I can work with that I'll like lost it in combat or something uh, actually it's not even that visible it's like just part of his foot that could still look cool um, I was having weird nostalgia about diners drive-ins and dives as well as uh, the Gordon Ramsay one. Kitchen Nightmares. Like the old Kitchen Nightmares. Like the British ones. I might watch those again. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably build some Warhammer. Or paint as I watch them. 
Steiner's driving and dive is still like on TV though, so I mean, it's not like I have to go back and watch old ones of that. I could probably watch new ones. Cause that's one of those shows where you're like, let's see some new ones, because the old ones, it's kind of like, oh, let's see Jim Bob's Crab Shack again. Like, I don't really need to see that. <laughs> uh, this is 39. This also looks really cool. It's like his guts are spilling out. Uh, 44. Kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's like just some of those old shows. That are just... They're not even like... <laughs> it's not like, oh man, that was an amazing show. But they're just kind of... Like, they're reality TV, you know what I mean? But... Still. <laughs> uh, Alright, that goes there. And then... 49 is right here. Oh, yeah, I was talking about this on my stream, but... In terms of, like, Warhammer YouTubers I watch, uh, I think my favorites, I've seen a decent amount. I think 2 Plus Tough has really cool lore things, so if I ever need to watch lore stuff, I'll usually look at his channel. Uh, there's... Um, my favorite, I think, is Goobertown Hobbies, just because he reminds me of, like, an even, an even more sloth-like version of me. <laughs> like, I still, I have a lot of like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> and like stuff like that, but he's more just like, hello everyone, welcome to Goober Town Hobbies. My name is Goober, and welcome to my town. Today on Goober Town Hobbies, we'll be painting various Necrons to look the same way as that we're looking over here, only on Goober Town Hobbies. And he's got two cats. I love those cats. As a person who has a cat. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I really like his channel. And... I need... 37, 42, 47. Here's 47. Uh, for battle reports, I really like re-rolling ones. I've seen a lot of battle reports. Well, this is more like Sigmar, so I'm, if you're watching this, you might be like, Woo, 40k! And... I'm more of a Sigmar person overall. So I watched the Sigmar battle reports, but now I'll probably watch some Necron battle reports just to like see how they play and how 40k plays comparatively. Uh, whoop. Although now it's 9th edition, so it's all gonna change. But I can't, it probably won't change like too much. Just like the core rules won't, I mean. Uh, 37. Oh wait, this is 42, it goes in. Uh, so I really like rerolling ones. Good quality stuff. And then, uh,. up there. In fact, before I even um, started playing Age of Sigmar, I, uh, I watched that channel just to like get a hang of how to actually play the, the game. Uh, and it was fun just watching it and being like, whoa, it's so cool. And then you, then you learn how to play and I'm like, oh, now I see everything that they're doing. So it's kind of fun to watch it as like a new person that has no idea how to play the game being like, whoa, the wizard's gonna do a thing. Whoa, he rolled well, <laughs> whoa, I don't know what's happening, but it looks cool. And then actually knowing how to play and being like, oh uh, yeah, he's gonna do the thing, oh man, he's gonna do it. And then you, gotta, you get like two different perspectives from the same mind, your own mind. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. 40, 38, 43, 48. So here's 38. Whoop. Um, and then there's another, there's one more dude, and I can't remember his name, but he's like an older dude with glasses and like white hair. He's actually got really chill videos. He's got really good audio setup. <laughs> I was like, man, I gotta get my audio like that. And then I remember I've been doing this for 11 years, and I'm still where I am right now. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe, uh, maybe that won't happen. Uh, 43, here it is. Okay. Uh, th 
you've seen anything I've made over the last 11 years, you probably know what you're, you're getting. <laughs> so, uh, all right. That's another thing. Some guy's like, how does a person with 3,000 subscribers get uh, free stuff? Well, I mean, I also have a channel of like half a million subscribers. I just didn't do Warhammer on it. <laughs> and I didn't want to flood that channel with like Warhammer stuff. You know what I mean? Um, 38. Wait, okay. <laughs> I'm pocketing, I'm not realizing I cut out 43. Okay, that is 43, now 48. Cool. Um, I want to flood that channel with Warhammer stuff because I still do like video game things over there, so I'm not going to be like, hey guys, I'm swapping to being a Warhammer channel. So I was like, screw it, let's make a new channel for it. Um, and then streaming a lot as well. I mean, honestly, I get like the other night, I was streaming Warhammer, I had like 400 people watch me stream Warhammer. That's like, normally I only get like 200, so that was crazy. I was like, shit dude, people actually care about painting some Warhammer, which is fine with me, because I want to get as many people into this hobby as possible. Because <laughs> uh, I love it. Like I said, it's just, uh, it's just a chill hobby to do, even if you don't play the game. Just like building stuff and painting, and just kind of chilling out and. Um, 45. Wait, I'm still talking too much. What did I cut out? That was 50. So he goes down here. I was like, wait, there's two 45s right here. I'm gonna take this guy. He's got a dent in his head. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's just fun to like chill out with, you know. And uh. I remember the first video I ever watched for like learning how to paint was Matt Mercer and the guy from Boy Meets World. And uh, I thought it was such a cool video. I don't know why. It was like the first three parts of the series and then I watched some of the other ones, but those initial ones are great. And I just went back and watched them as like a nostalgia thing. And I was like, I've learned how to paint better now. And I'm just kind of, <laughs> now I'm slightly above average. Note the term slightly, very strong emphasis on slightly. Uh, that's essentially my whole career. Slightly, extremely slightly above average. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that's everything. Neat. So now, let me go ahead. Start building these. Alright, first guy. Alright, then we'll put this in. Very good. And then this head goes on here. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Man, I'm really hoping they add more, like, bone splitter orcs. Because I prefer more, like, of the bone splitters over the iron jaws. This is kind of like a random topic. <laughs> but, because I saw they used to have, like, the green skins, right? And then they kind of split them off, like, iron jaws and bone splitters. But I prefer the bone splitters. The thing is, they have, like, five units. <laughs> I guess they both have very small amounts of units. They need to add more units to both those, because, like, Iron Jaws need, like, some crazy, like, tanks and stuff. They have, like, Maw Crusher, but, like, they need more, like, yeah, Iron Jaw, tough orc, orc smash <laughs> type of stuff. Wah! And then the Bone Splitters, I feel like they need more, like, crazy, uh, like, catapults. Like, they need, like, a Bone Catapult. Well... I was gonna say, the Bone Reapers got one of those. They need some sort of, like, janky catapult. And then, uh... I guess they have, like, the big spear guy. They just need more, like, crazy tribal orc stuff. I don't know. And they need updated model kits, because... 
Yeah, but I'd rather have new units over model kits, honestly. Same with Seraphon. I like... I'd really like if they updated the Source Warriors and stuff like that, but at the same time, I'd really like new units. Although Source Warriors definitely need updating. <laughs> I will definitely, uh... Definitely say that much. Am I not doing this one right? I was on such a roll. Wait, no. It is this. Why is it not going in? Mm. <laughs> Maybe if I... Um, push it? No. <laughs> hmm. This one's being... Oh! Oh, I got it now. There we go. Just a slight difference in the angle or something. Alright, and then this goes in here. Okay. Like so. And then it's over here. And then Beasts of Chaos too. Why do I have all the... I pick all the armies that have like... <laughs> a bunch of outdated units. I don't know. I just like them. That's another thing. I get a lot of people like... What army should I play and like start with or whatever. It's like... Just pick what you think looks cool. Because that's going to motivate you the most. <laughs> I mean if you pick something because you're like... Oh they're really good. Maybe if you want to like get really into playing the game. Um... You can, like, pick an overpowered army and do that, but... I don't know, I think the best thing you should do is just find something that looks cool. So, I mean, overall, you can kind of... You can learn the game with something you think looks cool, right? And then, whoop, maybe you'll even enjoy winning games with that army looks cool, even if they're not great. And then once you do that, then you can get into being like, alright, now I'm gonna get an army that's just really good, even if you don't like them as much. And you'll know how to paint, you'll know how to play. Know how to do all of it. So I think that's just, if you're getting into it, I think the biggest thing is just find what you think looks cool and paint that. Build and paint it. So you're gonna be more motivated to do that. Okay. So now. Oh wait, I gotta put this in. There we go. That was easy. Good. <laughs> that was easy. Then we push in. This. Very nice. On goes the head. On goes the head. <laughs> right here. There we go. And then goes the body. Neat. And a base. Right there. Cool. And there's that guy. And that's 10 Necron Warriors ready to fight for their right to party. <laughs> Woo! Alright. These Necron Warriors want to party and they will not be stopped for anything less than a great party. <laughs> um, Alright, now let's cut out some of these. Canoptex Scarab Swarms. So, this should be easy. B-51 and the B-52s! Canoptex Scarab Swarm! The B-52 Scarab Swarms here. It's kind of like Banelings from StarCraft. Yeah, this one. 
These go on the 40 millimeter. Alright. Let's see. Is this a 40? Looks like it. Yeah. Then, let's see. Looks like the this part and then this part. All right. Yeah. You just push these together, and then you just push these in. Cool. And then they're just like me. <laughs> I like those. I like those. Uh, it looks like they kind of hover a bit. So that's kind of kind of neat. Uh, and then we got 53. Because so I saw them hovering, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> I did uh, do this right, right? That's my constant <laughs> thought of like, did I do this right? Okay. That is 54. Yep. This way, this way, and this way. Get another one of these. And it's like the flat rock part. Could be this part. Now this goes in here. Do you even do it the other way? I guess technically. Actually, no, it'd be this way because this one's a little bit longer. Hold on. <laughs> a little bit higher up area goes over here. Oh, okay, like this. I was correct in my assumptions. Well, my later on assumption. Wait. Is it? Maybe not. <laughs> uh, does this go this way? Oh, I think it does go this way. It definitely. Wait. No, it doesn't. This should be the easiest thing. <laughs> Definitely with this one. With this one. No, this definitely. Okay, so it's. This is just having a hard time getting in here. Okay, so I think if we just push this to the side a little bit. There we go. Now we're good. Scarab swarms. Cool. All right. Uh, and then there's three more scarab swarms on the other sheet, but uh, I'll just do that later as well because you kind of get the uh, the gist of it. So there it is. Here's all the warriors ready to fight. Here's the scarab swarms ready to swarm. Uh, and then all the things from the other videos. Here's the destroyers. Here's the Scorpec Lord that I've primed. Here's the Crypto Thralls. Crypto Thralls. Crypto Thralls. I actually love these Crypto Thralls a lot. I like these models. Crypto Thralls. Crypto Thralls. Uh, and then there's the, the Big Honker. Look at this guy. Awesome model. And there's the little Wally robot. Then there's uh, the Plasmancer, who I love. I think he looks like me. If I was a Necron. <laughs> Ooh. 
These are like my first ever... Um, I like Zenithal Prime these, and these it's like my first ever time trying Zenithal Priming. So I don't know if they like look good or not. I think I did okay. <laughs> I definitely see more of the details than if I wouldn't have done it this way, but part of me is like, uh, did I miss part of the things? Uh, but I guess it's more like the light coming down from different angles and stuff. And then, uh, this dude. And if you missed me building any of these, you can go see them on my channel, which you're currently on, so just click my YouTube and then uh, check out the last, like, four videos I up uh, uploaded, because it's all me building these. So, uh, that was fun. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, click subscribe, like button, uh, uh, all that YouTube lingo, <laughs> the bell. Um, I'm mainly going to be painting, uh, I kind of just paint whatever I want. Like, I'll probably paint some 40k dudes. I'll probably go back to painting a lot of my Sigmar stuff. Because I got a lot of Seraphon that need to be painted. Beast men. Uh, I even got like some goblins and stuff I've just been working on. Like squig herders. Just for fun. Don't expect anything like high quality. Because, uh, that's definitely not <laughs> what I'm about. I'm more about just, you know, having fun, chilling out, and, uh, just kind of, just kind of, it's like I said, just chilling out and having a good time. So, nothing crazy intense over here, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Okay. See ya. I gotta go turn it off. Ugh.